Finding curbside parking in most downtown shopping districts can be time-consuming and frustrating. Space is valuable and scarce, so local governments use parking meters to collect user fees. The meters also serve another purpose. They are for generating revenue, but it's not their primary purpose. primary purpose of street meters is to change um, habits. Glenn Hellman is chief executive officer of IntelliPark, a firm that has developed a new kind of street meter. He says it will help change people's parking habits by encouraging them to keep their curbside stops short. This is really a mini computer, the same kind of mini computer that you use in a PC. Uh, just applied towards a meter. Hellman's firm is field testing the IntelliMeter outside Washington, D.C. It uses sonar detection technology. Two things our meter does. Um, one is, is that when a car leaves, we recognize the car left. And if there's any excess time left on the meter, we zero the meter out. Hellman says that can increase the city's parking meter revenues by 20 to 50 percent. The second thing his smart meter does is prevent people from feeding meters to hold on to a single spot for hours on end. We know that that car, we know that what, the, what time the car got here, we know it's been here two hours, and when a person comes here to, and tries to feed the meter, we won't allow that. We'll keep the quarter. But not everyone agrees this is a good idea. Here they're charging twice for the same amount of time. And that's, uh, to me, is taking too much money out of your pocket. That's pure graft. <laughs> they make enough money on parking meters as it is. Thank you very much. I mean, this is a ripoff. Hellman points out that his device has driver friendly features as well. For example, the IntelliMeter can be programmed to grant a few minutes worth of free parking when a new car pulls into a spot. We recommend to the communities that when a meter comes, you offer a free grace period. So, between 5 to 15 minutes can be offered as a grace period on these meters. And he says once computer processing power is installed in meters, networks can be created that will provide additional benefits to cities and citizens. Our next generation meter incorporates a low powered radio that communicates to a centralized radio that has internet connectivity. And with that, you can unleash all kinds of features. One example, meters that phone customers to warn that their meter time is nearly up. Well, I think it's a great idea for the simple reason I ran out of time in my meter, and then we have a cell phone that meter would have called us and tell us that we ran out of time, and it would have given us extra time in the meter so we don't get a parking ticket. But don't expect a phone call from your local parking meter anytime soon. The new smart meter is still in the testing phase. George Dwyer, BOA News.